Hi everyone, welcome back to TechLab's another tutorial. This video will guide you to create Genius Tree Lab for MicroTik router and manage those virtual router via Winbox. Before you start watching this video, I would request you to watch my previous video on how to add MicroTik router in Genius Tree. I'll put the link in my video description. So this video is actually the second part of adding MicroTik router in Genius Tree. Okay, now I open my Genius Tree. Okay, this is our two MicroTik router. These two router we have added in my previous video. Now first we will create a loopback interface on our Windows machine. And to do this, we'll have to go to the search box and type HD. Now click next. Now select this option, install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Now we will look for network adapter. Okay, this one, click next. Now we'll look for Microsoft. Now in here, we will select this option Microsoft KM Test Loopback Editor. Now click Next. Our Loopback Editor installed now. Click Finish. You can check from here. Okay, this is our Loopback Editor. Now we will configure Cloud. Browse all the device. Type cloud, yeah, this one. Drag this here. Select the Genius Tree VM. Now right click on your cloud. Click on configure. I'm connected with internet via Wi-Fi adapter. This is my Wi-Fi adapter, so I don't have to add here. If you don't see your adapter is not added, you can select this option, look for your adapter and then add. Okay, I don't have to add here. Now we will connect from router either 5 to cloud in this port. This is my wireless adapter. I'm not using any wired adapter. Now we will configure IP address. Put IP address on our loopback interface. Right click here, properties. Double click here. Okay, now we will configure IP on our edge router. This is our edge router. Right click here, select console. MicroTik default login is admin and password is empty. IP address print. First, we have to check. Okay, no address. So we type a command to add IP address on MicroTik router. Okay, and we will add a route as well. Okay, we're done. Now we will check from Winbox. The naval list, if you refresh it again, you can see this is our router. This is our virtual route. Click on the Mac. User is admin, password is empty. Click connect. Okay, now this is our age router. Now you wonder how you can connect your second router or third or any other router behind your age router. For this, we will configure a feature called Roman. Roman stands for Router Management Overlay Network. It's a built-in feature of router OS. As we can access to our router via Winbox, we will open Winbox, go to the tools and click on the Roman. Just enable it. Apply and OK. Now in the second router, as we don't have any Winbox access, so we will right click here and go to the console. Main. What we do here is to type a command to enable the Roman. Now I will show how you can connect your second router behind H router. We will open our Winbox again. Click on Mac. Now click this button connect to Roman. Now it will show the Roman neighbor. This is our Roman neighbor. This is actually the second router. 
user is admin password is empty connect now you can see there is no IP address this is our second route okay you can see now you can put IP address one I two after one and here you say Okay, now ping. I'm pinging the second router. I can get the ping response from second router. That's how we create lab for Microtech router on Genius 3. And can access your router via Winbox. Another important thing to share here, if you don't see any router in your neighbor list, just go to your network connections and disable your wired or wireless adapter and then enable it so then you will see your virtual router will appear here in this neighbor list that's pretty much of it please do subscribe my channel for more videos thanks for watching